Hey guys, Just Mike here, and welcome back to episode 4 of my free agent database here on Football Manager Handheld 2014 with Leeds United. Hope you're all well. So, today we've got our match against Norwich, but first of all, what I want to do is just go through the fixtures. Uh, so, last game we had a 5 1 victory over Fleetwood in the Cup. Obviously, um, had a uh, slight issue where a lot of my players went out on international duty. And I had to bring in a lot of my young players to actually make a, a full squad up. So it's something I've never actually looked into before, but it actually worked out quite well. I mean, I've actually picked up, I've never I've never really looked into to uh, signing any, which I'm not too sure why I've never done. But I mean, this guy here, when he's 16 years old, I um, mean, 20 teamwork, 17 stamina, 16 strength. He's a box-to-box midfielder. He's got good passing, good tackling, good technique. Um, creativity and he's got, he's got a good all round stats at 16 I mean it, this could be definitely a, a player for the future there as well so um, I mean this one uh, Carl Roberts not not overly uh, I mean he's not not too bad he could definitely get only 17 so could definitely become good uh, obviously 16 on technique there as well um, and then we had Ashley Woods as well he came to the team which to be fair was pretty much the only option I had um, to fill that position um, to but yeah, no, it's not actually something I um, looked at ever before. But um, it's definitely got me single players in. I mean, there's uh, Bobby O'Hallan as well, 17-year-old uh, striker. Got some um, possibly decent potential there. And then uh, also um, this one here, Anton Beasley. I mean, this was the guy, I think, 20 on leadership at the age of 17, 15 teamwork, 20 technique as well. Obviously, tackling's poor, but for an attacking midfielder, a striker is not really uh, something I'll be looking at. And obviously, then positioning, that was the only one that's a bit worrying. Uh, but good movement and good creativity. Um, dribbling could need, need a bit of work on as well. And obviously, for a striker, 11 shooting is not, not the best, uh, along with his pace. Stamina and strength, obviously, could need work on. So it's one of the areas that I wish that you could actually focus training on. So, like on normal football manager, where you could actually go to the training report and then you know focus them on on pace. So it's something that you could work on. But yeah, so obviously short on players. So I did uh, sign up a few of the youngsters. Uh, it was really good to see. Nothing I've done before. But it's definitely something that I'm going to be looking at in uh, football manager going forward. And uh, sorry, football manager handheld going forward, and as well with the. Football manager handout 15 coming out. So into my second league game, obviously disappointed to get off to a bad start against Sheffield Wednesday over a 2-1 loss. Uh, we actually picked up a 3-1 victory against Reading. Uh, Benzia, Gordzetska and Warner uh, scoring the goals. Uh, great possession, absolutely dominated on shots as well. Their goalkeeper must have been playing an absolute blinder. Um, he only got a 6 rating, which is... Don't really understand because he put up against 13 shots on target and he conceded 3. So the defence and the... Uh, you know, goalkeeper probably lead a little bit more credit than what they actually got given there. So, uh, Hamzak, um, oh, yes, I signed uh, Hamzak as well. Um, <laughs> I'll go through the transfers in a minute, but um, so he was the only actually player I think that I bought him from last episode. I did get tried to get uh, Barahino in, but um, it was actually after the transfer window, um, so he won't be coming till next season now. Um, but yeah, 3-1 victory, really happy with that result. And then we moved on to uh, an away game at Bolton. Um, again, dominated in possession, dominated the shots. Uh, Benzia and Sigurdsson getting on the score sheet. Again, um, Benzia getting man of the match. Uh, put Joel Campbell on this match as well. So just uh, rotating some. I've got, I've got some really good players, so it's just keeping it fresh and rotating. Um, now I was going to do the Capital One Cup run, but I'm not 100% too sure now because... I don't want to leave the episodes too long, but I did play Ipswich away and then at home again in the Championship. So in the match in the uh, Capital One Cup, I got a 4-0 victory. Joel Campbell scoring a hat-trick, absolute beast-like performance from him. And uh, Warner again, popping up with a goal. So again, just dom- the possession was, uh, not, I wouldn't say dominating, but it was good to see that we won that one. But obviously shots, um, 14 of other match, of the 19 on target. So that was really pleasing to see. Obviously Joel Campbell picking up man of the match there. Did change up a few of the players as well. Just gave Carl Darlogo in goal as well, just to to kind of mix it up and give the youngster uh, Antonio Beasley um, a go. And Tom Freeman as well, picking up in the uh, taking over from Jack Rodwell for that for that kind of defensive midfield role. 
Um, none of them actually getting overly impressive performances, but you know it's good to get them on the pitch. I think it's obviously thing I'll probably do in the in the cup to give the um, some of the younger players uh, ones I've signed up the decent ones just to run in so they're actually getting some matches throughout the season. Then maybe look to possibly put them out on loan now next season if they're um, still still performing well. So then obviously it's going to the home match against Ipswich in the Championship five 0 victory there put the full strength team back on the pitch. Uh, Obviously, Sigerson scoring a brace, and then uh, Benzie again scoring an absolute hat trick. This guy is just turning to be seven games, ten goals. You know, I, I don't know what else I can say about him. Really, he's just an uh, absolute beast. Like so, and then uh, after that match into Birmingham, three 0 victory at home. Benzie again, Wojtetska and Hamzik scoring the goals again. Just good overall performance. Great shots. Um, Joel Campbell getting player of the match for that one as well. Uh, a good overall performance. Everyone putting in a good shift on that one. Um, the, again, obviously giving Manuel Harris a quick run out on the pitch there as well. Just giving some of the youngsters just a run around when I can do, really. Obviously, when the game is all done, or at least try and put one of them on the bench. And obviously, if we see in the game out, then obviously I've managed to stick them on. Um, kind of a disappointing, really, result against Charlton. I know it's still a win and a way, uh, but yeah, it was uh, one nil. Obviously, 10 shots, 7 on target, but really not click, click enough. Jack Rodwell uh, grabbing the goal on that one, so it's good to see him picking up a goal from the midfield. I've got player of the match as well. Um, so I did change the strikers up in this one as well. I wasn't really happy with how it was going. So I took uh, Warner and Campbell off and put Benzie and Sigurdsson, but they couldn't, again, um, change anything to the outcome of the game. But it was good. Obviously, we saw, we saw out the game as well and never really under any doubt that we'd win that one. But it was just it would have been a little bit, uh, you know, smooth. we've actually grabbed another goal to see that we're out. So we've got the game against Norwich there at home in uh, in the Championship. So I've actually changed the formation slightly as well. But first of all, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to show you... Um, where is it? No, uh, no, that's overall transfers. I do not want to see that. So I just want to look at the, obviously the transfers. So again, um, from last time you watched me, I think it was all of them came in, didn't they? So yeah, I think it was. Why is he not on there? Hamzik is not on there for some reason. But obviously that was the only signing I made from um, from the last one. And then I said I, I'm pretty certain I've got. Um, Berahino coming in from. Is he coming? Oh no, considering his options. Okay, actually, hasn't. I thought he decided that he was coming to. Coming to me, but. Oh, he's got. Um, oh yeah, there you go. Future transfer leads. Yeah, so he is, he is coming to me. Um, again, it's just another good option I've got up front. Because um, I haven't really got. I, mean, I have got options up front, but. Um, yeah, just wanted to actual out and out striker again. If I'm playing two up top, because uh, let's have a look at the tactics quickly. This game looks a little bit strange. It's kind of like a a um, four four two diamond formation, but I play one just random player just out wide on the on the right there. Um, so it just seems to be working though. Generally, too fair. It's actually Campbell out on the on the wide there, and then Benzia um, yeah, up up top. That's my general format. That's actually pretty much apart from that's normally Sigurdsson. Where is he? Um, come here, Sigurdsson. There you are. So that's... Uh, no, okay, my defence is wrong as well. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of starting 11 that I generally put out. That's my probably my first pick. Um, but again, it's a tight, tight decision between um, Rodriguez and... Uh, Luke Shaw at left back sometimes, so that's the ones that gets probably rotated the most. And then again, um, at right back, sometimes I play John Stones there as well. Uh, Cannon Chambers not really getting a look in at the moment for that right back position. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So we're going to crack into the game against Norwich today. And then we'll go into um, looking at some more players. So I'm just going to go with that starting 11. That's the one that I like the most. And let's see what we can do with this one. Okay, throw in. Throws it all the way back to Williams. It's a massive throwback. No one really doing here. Mark Williams trying to talk to him. Oh, goal. 1 0, header. 11 minutes in, 1 0. What a start. Is it in? Yes, it's counted as well. I oh, know it's offside. Sigurdsson knocks it in. Warner. Benzia. 
What a strike. Can't call that one offside. 1-0. 18 minutes. Back the net. The guy is a beast. Cooper was rooted to the spot. See Campbell. Campbell on the right this time. Picking the ball up. Into Benzia. Warner. Oh, what was that? He had all the time. No one marking him. That is, uh, that is shocking. It was a great ball over. No one picked the uh, run of Warner up. But Campbell again. Warner. Oh, pretty much identical to the last attempt. Peeled away from the defender. But still can't direct that. Header in. Sigurdsson. Zuma Hamzik. Oh, Campbell. Rodwell picking it up deep here. Playing the ball in. Warner. Over the crossbar. Some great play here. Some really good build-up play. But just... Now they go on the attack, so it's got Irvin. Who, what was, I don't even know that was, but it's a painter. Oh, Billy Painter pulled one back, 1-1. One, one. This is not what I'd like to see, lads. That's pretty much their first attempt, is it? First attempt on target. Billy Painter. Oh, no, yeah, first shot. First shot, first shot on target. Goal. Is that something I need to look at? My, def my defence is uh, pretty solid, but um, they don't take that many opportunities to the away team, but... Every time they do, Butland seems to let it in. So it is something that I might have to look to strengthening in the January transfer window. Should hopefully see this one out now. Come on, guys. Sigurdsson, play the ball in. Oh, what happened there? Zuma's, oh, Zuma's followed it in, though. Goal. Does it count? It is first goal of the season. Kurt Zuma. Sigurdsson again. Oh, what was that? Guilford going for a bit of a uh, panache then, just not pulling it off. Let's have a look. So Hamzik's um, running a bit low on... Uh, running a bit low, so we'll put Sigurdsson up there. Uh, anyone else having... Sigurdsson's actually not really having a... Well, he's, not, he's got a seven, so it's not a bad game, I suppose. But Yeah, no, we'll just leave it as that for the time being. You should be able to... We're 2-1 up now. We should be able to see this one out, hopefully. Just to kind of let Norwich... There we go. 2-1 win. So that was a good result. Quite happy with the performance. Um, obviously disappointed to have conceded a goal, especially considering the, the, the limited their chances to just two. And one of those were on target, but obviously that one was a goal considering we had 13, six of ours on target, we only, we only conceded two. So in a clinical sense of form, it does seem, obviously from that point of view, you would say that Norwich were more clinical on the day because they had the one, two shots. The one that was on target actually went in as well because they had to our six and oh two. So, yep. Definitely something that might need to be addressed in the transfer window. So Leeds United marching on. So just some quality finish on this play. Nothing else to say from the coach there. Okay, so let's move on to um, the player look now. So obviously some people want to look at some players. So just have a quick look at Eric Lamella. See where he has been snapped up at. Eric Lamella, where are you? Um... Has he got a weird spelling of his name? Why can't I pick him up? Pretty sure that's how you spell it. Oh, it's probably because I've got interested on. There he is. I don't remember. Still hasn't got a club yet, so not sure why. Let's have a look. Has he got anyone possibly coming in for him in a few transfer as well? No, no, no bids. No, no one interested. So that's obviously possibly one I could look at bringing in if I do get up into the Premiership, or possibly bring them in in January. Um, we've got. Mangan Adebayo again, he's got no club as well, so that's another one not picking up a club. Ericsson, Christian Ericsson, that's not. AC Milan. AC Milan. So that's another interesting one to see there. Eric Abradell, what a beast. No no club as well. So Eric Peters, again, he's got no club. So, yeah, still a lot of players actually without picking up any clubs. Guys, I'm going to leave that episode there because it's probably way longer than I mean, uh, meant it to be as well. So if there's any players you want to see or any clubs or anything like that you want me to review what they're going on with, please drop it in the comment section below or on the thread on FMH5. Um, I want to finish saying thank you again once again to FMH5 and Jay Marvels for making this available. And yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode, which will be the match against. Let's have a quick look. Not going to do the cup run. So, one, two, four, five. So, against Bournemouth, the next match will be. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. And as always, guys, peace.